I'm starting to get successful now with affiliate marketing and that's mainly because I've changed my strategy. So before I talk about the new strategy that actually gives you a lot of success, let me talk about how most people do affiliate marketing and how you can change it. So over here, most people when they sign up for an affiliate uh, program, they just get the uh, URL, the referral link, and then they post it on social media or even on their YouTube channel. So what happens is when someone gets to, the, to that link, they go straight directly to the website where they need to purchase the uh, product or service. And if they have a website or a blog, this is how it looks like. So the traffic comes in and they uh, come over here where you've created the, either the video article or an audio file. And this is where most people would put their affiliate link to buy products or to promote their products or services. So here, this is the product or service that's being promoted. So when the visitor now clicks here, they are taken to the website, which has the service. And then finally over here, this is where you'd get paid. Now, this strategy here is very, very flawed, mainly because if you're directing traffic directly to the page where the person has to buy either the product or the service, it can be very, very expensive. And sometimes it's even takes you into a loss. Now let's talk about the new way which actually works and brings you more results. So over here, pretty much we have uh, a similar diagram, but there's a massive change. So same as before, over here we have the traffic, they come to the blog. In the blog, we have a link of uh, promoting the product or service. But this time, instead of going directly to the product for the visitor to buy, we have added what is known as a bridge page. So what this bridge page does is, this is where you get to collect your some emails, when the visitor comes to that website. Now, it's not very easy for someone to get to the bridge page and just give you an email. This is what you need to do, and this is very, very important. So here, what you really want to do is to just um, create a video which goes into detail, talking about how this product that you're promoting has helped you or how the product has given you success. If you do it that way, it makes it easier or it gets uh, the visitor to that page even more excited to buy the product. Because remember, not everyone that clicks your affiliate link actually buys the product. So over here, you can go into detail and talk about how much success you've got from the product that you're trying to promote, how it's changed your life. It can, and also talk about the experience. So what you could do here is uh, it could be in written form or it, or it can also be in a form of a video, but the video is even more effective. So this is where I would recommend uh, actually creating a video. Now, the second twist here is over here, what you can also do is you can give a bonus if people buy whatever product you're pro promoting through your affiliate link. So this is where you can talk about the bonus now, for the bonus to work, it has to be related to the product that you're actually promoting. For example, let's say you are promoting a weight loss program. So what you could actually do is you could give a bonus of maybe uh, some diets that have, uh, that have worked for you or uh, a, a fitness program which helps with uh, the dieting program that you're trying to promote. So the products have to relate. So... This, I mean, here, I mean, it's up to you. You can have two or three bonuses or even a single bonus. It doesn't really matter. But the most important thing is you want to make sure that for them to get the bonus, they sign up here onto your email list. Now, how you set this up is very straightforward, and I'll be showing you how to do this in this video. So when they leave their email address here and click buy the product, two things happen. First of all, they are redirected straight to buy the product here. But behind the scenes, their name or their email address has been added to an email autoresponder. In my case, I use ConvertKit, but you can use MailChimp, Aweber, and so on. So over here now, now that you're building a list and also the person has bought the product, there's two advantages to this. In the future, you may want to sell even or promote other products that relates to what you've just promoted. But this time, you don't have to come over here to look for more traffic. You have a list. So this is where now you can use the existing list that you've created, provided the next program that you're promoting is um, similar or it's uh, related. It's very easy now for these people on this waiting list or on this email list to buy that product. 
Secondly, here's another thing, and this is again, again is very, very important. When someone comes over here, comes to your blog, they watch a video or they read an article or they listen to a podcast and then click the affiliate link. Not everyone that clicks that link actually buys. So if you're spending a lot of money here to get your traffic, it's going to be very hard for you to make a profit. Now, here's the thing. If you spend the money, money first for the first time here, and let's say you get a thousand people visiting your, your blog or that particular article, and out of that thousand, let's say 10 people buy. So when those 10 people buy, that's great news. But you can actually come over here to your email autoresponder and send some follow-up emails of those people that didn't buy. So you can also convince them or give them a different uh, way or a different approach for them to convince them to buy this product. Secondly, you can also use what are known as retargeting ads. So if those thousand people that haven't bought or 900 that haven't bought, guess what? You can retarget them because you have them on an email list. Whereas if this situation here was not available, there's no way of retargeting or there's no way of actually following up via email once someone has clicked that link and they've gone to this product. Now, uh, I've also mentioned, I've, I've spoken about promoting related products. Now, the other thing is you can actually sell future products of your own that are related to what you're promoting. So let's say, for example, you are promoting, um, let's say, hosting. What you could do in the future is you could create a course on how to design websites and sell it to that existing um, list, which again saves you a lot of money from trying to find brand new uh, visitors here to buy or visitors here to or clients, sorry, to buy that product. So this is where this bridge page is really powerful. All right, so I've covered a lot of the theory. Now, let me show you how to set this up on your own website. Now, for this example, I'll be using Divi and also I'll be giving away my bridge page, which I've designed specifically to use for affiliate marketing. So, and also if you wanna buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll really appreciate it. And I also have a bonus, you guessed it. So if you buy it using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my Divi Blueprint 3 course, which teaches you how to design websites professionally using Divi. Okay, so let's create a brand new post. So this post here is gonna be a review. So I've just called it product review, but you know what? We're not gonna go into the Divi Builder here because this is gonna be a basic post. So I'm gonna come over here to default editor. So here, the first thing I'm gonna do is to uh, add a video. So I'm gonna add my video here and it's gonna be from YouTube. So I'm gonna paste my link here to my video, click on embed. So now my video has been added. Now, this is where now you can add a bit of text to go with the video. So I'm just gonna use some lorem text. So I'm gonna go to lorem two and copy some dummy text like that. And then back over here, I'm just gonna paste this paragraph. Okay, so our post is created now. That's looking great. I'm gonna click here on publish. So we are going to come back over here because we need to add our link. Okay, so the next stage now is to create a bridge page. So again, I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. I'm gonna open this in a new tab. Now, as I mentioned before, I have a bridge template that I'll be giving away absolutely free. So you can go ahead and use that. So over here, we're gonna say um, products affiliate. So I'll just, I'll just call, call this product A double F. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead now and click on, in fact, before I click on use Divi Builder, I'm gonna come back over here to this template and make sure it's set to blank. And then I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder. I'm gonna click here on build from scratch. Then I'm just gonna close this. Now it's time to import our bridge template. So all I have to do is to find my bridge template and here it is. I'm gonna drag it over here like that replace existing content, and then click on Import Divi Builder Layout. So what's gonna happen now is it's gonna import all the design elements of this template, and as you can see, this is what it looks like. Great, so it's quite basic, but it does the job. So over here, I've um, added just some text here to just give, you an, I mean, just give you a guide on how you can use this. So here, I'm just gonna say, 
you're about to learn how I lost over five kilos in weight in seven days without fasting or going on a diet. So this is just a an attractive headline. Of course, this is not true, but you have to be creative with your headlines. Now, over here, I've added a video. Now, this is where you have to go in and talk about how this product has helped you and why you recommend it. Now, and then over here on the bottom, this is where we collect our emails. Remember, we spoke about this. So you now need to go in and customize this. So I'm gonna click here on module settings and show you how you can actually uh, customize this. So all you have to do here is to come over here to email account, choose your email provider. So if it's MailChimp, you can just choose MailChimp, select your list, click on add. Next, over here now on success action. Now this is very, very, very important. If you get this wrong, you're going to be in big trouble. So here we want to redirect, okay? So I'm gonna click on redirect to a custom URL. I'm gonna select that. And then this is where you want to add your URL to your affiliate uh, product that you're promoting. So in this case, I'm just going to say, let's say for example, we're promoting uh, a Divi, okay? So I've just copied the URL here. So back, this is the uh, redirect URL. I'm gonna paste this. And in fact, you know what? I may come over here as well and add my proper information. So I use ConvertKit, and then I'm just gonna choose an email list here. And then back over here on success action, I just wanna make sure that uh, redirect to a custom URL is selected. And then over here, this is the actual affiliate link. Okay, great. So that's all I, that's all I need to do to set this up. I'm gonna save this. Now, I need to go through a few settings again. Let's say, for example, you want to change the background of this. All you need to do is to click here on this gear icon, click on background, and then you can completely change this image. So it doesn't have to be a dieting uh, bridge page. So let me sh show you quickly how you can change this. So I'm just going to click anyway over here. And in my library here, you can see I have quite a few images. So let's say I'm promoting a, you know, an actual product. I can come over here, put these... Uh, this group of people here, add it to the background. And that could be my background. Uh, in fact, that doesn't look really nice because it's a very small image. So let me add a different one. So let me try and add this one here. This is quite big. Click upload an image. And you can see they're showing in the background. So as you can see, this can be used uh, pretty much on any type of uh, website. So finally, I'm going to settle with this one here, which is just the background of a city. Okay, now I'm going to save. Let's say you want to uh, change this image here. Again, that's very straightforward. All you have to go to do is to go into the uh, module settings. And then you want to come over here on overlay. And then you want to click here on the overlay image. So let's say this is to do with holiday or whatever it is. I'm just going to select this image here. Click upload an image. And as you can see, this has been updated. So already this has a holiday feel to it. So this is where you can change your heading. You can change your, your description here. And then on the bottom here, you can also come over here and change the content of these bonuses. So this is bonus one. And let me just show you how you can change this text. So this is bonus two. So as you can see, I'm doing some inline editing. Just like that. So again, on the bonuses here, you can go in and change the pricing if you want to, but pretty much this is what we need to do. Now I'm gonna publish the page. And exit the Visual Builder. Okay, now this is the link now that we need to put in our blog post instead of getting the actual affiliate link that takes us to the product. So this is our bridge page. I'm gonna copy this URL, very, very important. Come back over here. And this is where we can add a link in our copy. So let's say I highlight this and this is the actual link to the product that we're promoting. I'm just gonna click here on this chain icon. I'm gonna paste my link just like that. And as you can see, it's underlined. So that's great. Uh, all I have to do now is to click on update. Okay. I want to click on view post. So now that we have our post here, it's ready. So let's say traffic is coming to your website. You've, you've promoted this on social media. You've promoted it everywhere, maybe even paid traffic. So all your visitors land on this page. Now, when they land here and uh, you've encouraged them to purchase this, 
this is the the URL to the product that you're promoting. So what you do, uh, when what they do is when they click here, instead of going to the actual product to buy, they are taken to the breach page. Fantastic. So when they when they get here on the breach page, they play the video. It talks about the product, blah blah blah, and then over here, this is where you can they can add their name, email address. I'm just going to add an email address here. And then finally, I'm going to click on buy and get my bonuses. So if I click here on buy and get my bonuses, this should redirect me to the product page. And behind the scenes, my email address should be added to ConvertKit. So let's go ahead and test this. Fingers crossed. I'm going to click here on buy product. Boom. Now it's taken me to the product page, which is fantastic. Now behind the scenes, this is where now the, the email address, and remember, it was malone00 at gmail.com. Now let's go, let's head over to ConvertKit and see if my email has been added. All right, so I'm over here on ConvertKit. If I scroll down, you can see here that my email, malone00 at gmail.com, has been added. And also, just so that you can see what's going on here, this is my email list. It's actually growing, and I am actually using the same strategy. And then over here, I have... The, uh, the sequences, I also have automations, so I can actually send uh, emails to anyone that hasn't bought the product yet and encourage them to buy or even give them different offers. So this is the strategy that is working for me. I highly recommend that you can go try this out and definitely you will get success in this. And let me know um, if you have any other strategies that you use. I would like to hear how you're promoting it and how you're getting success with the way you're doing it. Certainly, this is what's been working for me. All right, guys, this is all I have in this, in this video. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget, if you buy a Divi using my affiliate link, you'll get some bonuses. Make sure you click on the link in the video description below and just drop me an email once you've done so. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.